Hey, what's up to all my Ding Dong Ska daddies out there? Hope you're picking it up, picking it up, picking it up. You know I listen to Ska. Well, goddamn <laughs> Okay, we're gonna fall for it today. That's right, today we're gonna fall for it. Yeah, we'll pay attention. We'll pay attention, just like with Kanye. Okay, we'll pay attention to you. And we're gonna talk about Twitter, okay? And Twitter is like, I don't, guys, I don't really get it. I guess it's like Kazaa or Winamp or something. You know I listen to Ska. So here's my re, uh, response huh? to these advertisers that are pulling out. Uh, Weird. Boycott them. boycott them. General Mills, Audi, Pfizer, boycott them. Wow. Send them emails saying outright, uh -huh. your actions in suspending ads on Twitter are overtly political. And if you want to play those games, we will not give you money. Oh, wow. Great. You know, I hate to be the one to call for boycotts because in the past I've been like, I'm not all about that. But you start to realize, unless you get organized, unless you stand up and say, enough, bye-bye, they'll keep doing it. Hey, if you keep pulling your ads, we're all going to... You go in the middle of the woods. Think, 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 go in the middle of the woods. That's right, guys. There's already a little bit of disappointment in the air. And this uh, uh, rich guy, Elon Musk, owns Twitter. And, and many of these people, many of these people who are very worked up and getting their little pants all tightened about this... They're channeling, they're doing what all great artists do. And they're channeling that emotion into beautiful art. Turn to die, we're slowly yeah! To Wait, hold on. Hold on, let me get a look at this. Lockdowns are for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn, this is that new Vax wave. You know I listen to Ska. I just wanted to stop right here and say that if you're a songwriter out there, this is how it's done, okay? This is how it's done. What you really want to do when you're writing a song or making any art is leave no room for interpretation or abstraction of any kind. Just overt, put your overt political pandering message right up front in the song, and that's how great art is made. If you don't like it, well, frankly, go to a different country and never come back. Uber cars. Whoa! Look at that, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how he does it. This is one of those moments that's really like you just look at it and you're, you're like, I'm seeing music being changed right here. This is one of those moments where you look at it and you go, I'm watching the entire art form being changed. This is Tim Pool's It's Black, It's White. Okay, now guys, when I was a kid, there was this guy, Michael Yassing, okay? And he was a singer and he was some kind of per a per pervert or something. And people watch this video. And they were like, oh my God, how are those people changing into different people? And they literally thought that it was going to come out of the TV and they ran out of their house. This is one of those, mo this is one of those technological moments. And I don't know how he got uh, George Lucas to get in on this, but it's, but anyway, if you've been listening to this guy, Tim Pool, or basically anybody like him for the past, I don't know, month, year, some crap, I don't know. I think you'd be a little confused right now because according to them, Elon Musk is going to bring all this freedom to to Twitter. Oh, it's going to bring freedom. And so far what it seems that we've got is unless you pay $8, you're going to get shadow banned. You know I listen to Ska. I think there's a net positive here with you buying the platform. Yeah. I'm not going to spend a penny. I canceled Twitter Blue. It was bad enough I had in the Whoa, first place. Whoa, what a badass. Whoa, what a bat. Is this guy from the Old West or something? He's going to cancel Twitter. Oh, my God. He must be from an action. He must have stepped out of an action movie. I'm actually, the moment I saw he did this, I was like, okay, I'm giving them less money now. Wow. The moment he did this. So I'll tell you. Amazing. If he releases the information on the DHS and how Twitter was colluding with the government, I'll, I'll, I'll pay eight bucks. But he's also got to free the political prisoners and fire the people who were involved in the Hunter Biden laptop scandal. <laughs> yeah, this wow. was disappointing. Wow. Yeah, poor old dumbass Tim Pool pandering to his audience of Mimas and Peepaws. This is a little bit disappointing. It could mean that within a few days, Donald Trump is back on the platform yes. right before the midterms. Wow. October surprise much? Oh. That could be bad. Bye-bye. Donald Trump coming back on the platform could ignite the left like crazy. Wow. It's bad timing, I'll tell you that. But we'll see. It could also be a major net positive because you'll see people like Milo back on the platform Who? if Elon makes these moves. Oh, okay. Don't know for sure. Bye-bye. We'll so yeah, this is what this uh, beanie guy was telling his Mimon people, all followers, you know, for months and months, he's our only hope. He's our only hope. 
He's our only hope to bring back freedom of speech. The fact that Elon Musk is saying is, look, here's what, here's what he's saying. Okay. Twitter will be forming a content moderation council oh, with wow. widely diverse viewpoints. No major content decisions or account reinstatements will happen before that council convenes. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I said it's a bad move, IMO. Yeah. Free the political prisoners. Right. Well, here we are, my friends. <laughs> I was ho- Things so far are not turning out the way that they promised. They're confused followers. So what has happened? What has happened so far in the past couple days that this guy, that our new dad, because we want a new dad, because we're conservatives. What has our new dad done? All right, well, details trickling out on Elon Musk's latest plans for Twitter. Yeah. Because moments ago, he tweeted as part of a thread, power to the people. Power to the people. Blue for $8 a month. Wow. Musk adding that blue users will get priority in replies, mentions, search, ability to post long video and audio, and half as many advertisements. The poll that they put out, their investor, Jason Calacanis, uh-huh. 83% said they would pay zero for Twitter blue or verification, uh. but... 10% of the 202 million people that voted said they would pay five bucks a month. An additional 2% said they'd pay 10 bucks a month. So uh, I'm just ballpark figures here, Rochelle. There is a potential for north of 100 million bucks a month in revenue if that poll is at all correct. So here's maybe the most uh, annoying part of this. The new costlier Twitter Blue will also offer priority ranking for, quote, quality content, promising to boost Promising to boost blue subscribers' visibility in replies, mentions, and search. It's pretty funny that this guy Elon Musk put a tweet where he's like, Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. Uh, give me $8. Power to you, the people. Give me $8. You have to. Or you, no one sees your crap anymore. <laughs> Power to you. $8, please. Which, as this guy from uh, Yahoo News mentions, that's going to be, you know, p- potentially hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue. How much of the people? So the other funny part of this, I guess, funny, I don't know, funny, stupid, I don't know, is that you're paying $8 a month, another, yet another t- charge. What do I got? Netflix, this, add this to the list. We're paying $8 to get a check mark. And the whole point of the check mark was if it's some kind of public figure or, or semi-public figure or someone who's popular on social media or whatever crap, this is to know there's some verification process to know, oh, this is the real, this is the actual person. We went through a little bit of crap to know that this, yes, this is the real person. So to sort of satirize this, to make fun of this, a bunch of famous people put Elon Musk's name you know, as, oh, I have a blue check, it's me, real Elon Musk, as a sort of a silly satire to show, hey, now we don't have a verification system, this kind of doesn't make sense, Elon Musk. So what happens next? Because Tim Pool, wind burned her a little bit in Tim Pool, he promised, he swore to God, as my newsman, that we were going to see more free speech. So what did to happen next with this blue check stuff? Oh my God, what a shock. Musk bans quote, impersonation, unquote, after parody Elon's flood Twitter. Comedian Kathy Griffin was among those already suspended by the billionaire who promised unfettered, quote, free speech and the decriminalization of comedy. (laughs) Oh, oh no, Elon, come on, bro. Hello, tushy. The parody bans follow and apparently contradict an October 28th promise from Musk and promise from my newsman. Okay. All of them, Tim Pool, Ben Chetan, Yo, all of these morons. They contradicted October 28th promise from Musk that no major content decisions would occur before the formation of a, quote, content moderation council with widely diverse viewpoints. Oh, you, you son of a bitch. Uh, then there's this one, too. YouTuber Ethan Klein, co-host of the popular show H3H3. Okay, say it like that because I'm British. Also had his personal account. H3H3 production suspended by Twitter for impersonating Musk after testing the new policy. Klein, as Musk, so, you know, uh, pretending to be Musk, had tweeted a joke about the billionaire's alleged friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, but made sure to mark clearly that his tweets were parodies and his account was a parody by changing the bio and the header. After Klein's suspension, H3H3 show account 
tweeted, comedy is dead on Twitter and Elon Musk killed it. This is such a cartoonish crash and burn already, just in within days of what those morons, beanie moron, whatever, ah, this moron, all of them. It's such a instant crash and burn to this idea of free speech that it's almost, again, if you were writing it, if it was in a script, it'd be like, that. come on, that's too, that's just too obvious. People were doing this as a joke for a while. They were like, hey, we're not going to be able to put this picture up much longer. And it's Elon Musk with a uh, jizz lane Maxwell. Oh, we're not going to be able to put this up much longer. Elon Musk by, uh, as sort of a like a little bit of a joke. Now that joke is true. <laughs> now that joke is true. And Ethan Klein tested it. I mean, he can't, hats off to Ethan Klein. You post about Jeffrey Epstein Literally the entire point, literally the point of free speech, to be able to speak truth to power. This is the most obvious version of power. A guy who unilaterally, you know, authoritarian dictatorship style owns Twitter now. Hey, you were friends with Jeffrey Epstein. Ban. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm a moron. I'm a moron. That's not free speech. Being able to speak truth to power, not having the dad, not having our daddy... Uh, ban us because we point out uh, little problemos. That's not free speech. Free speech is uh, being able to harass trans people. Meanwhile, yeah. there is a controversy brewing over at Twitter. So Elon Musk woke up this morning, basically fired everybody. Oh, yeah. Which I got to say is hilarious. They had more employees than they needed. <laughs> that is hilarious, bro. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's check that out, dude. I can't wait till they fire everybody. <laughs> I like to see people get fired. <laughs> Twitter now asks some fired workers to please come back. Twitter management trying to bring back dozens of workers. Some employees now needed or who or were laid off by mistake. Oh, God. From Bloomberg. That's too bad. Which I got to say is hilarious. They had more employees than they needed. Um, Twitter had something like 6,500 employees, which is insane. Uh-huh. What do all those people do all day? I mean, aside from... <laughs> what do you do all day? <laughs> you don't edit these videos. You do none of the production. You wander in. You read these stupid talking points. Actually, I think I know what he does all day. <laughs> you little pervert. Because again, he is a private company. Huh? He's not saying there's no Overton window. He's just saying the Overton window is a lot broader than the Overton window. That was allowed before okay. by the Twitter content moderators who decided that that noticing the biological reality of sex was a serious problem. Oh, OK, great. All right. Some news on the free speech front. Elon Musk has uh, given more details about his plans for content moderation. He tweeted this. Talk to civil society leaders Jonathan Greenblatt, who? Yale Eisenstadt, Rashad Robinson, Jessica Gonzalez. Norman Chen, Derek Johnson, Ken Hirsch, and Sidney Benavides Never heard of about him. how Twitter will continue to combat hate and harassment and enforce. But this also isn't a good sign. Maybe yeah. Oh, say. no. Um, it is a, it's a bad sign. Right. Because he had a little group chat about no. content moderation and hate-fueled violence. Mm. Every single person in the conversation was a leftist. This Every single one. But this is just another funny example of what we've been seeing, you know, forever. Forever. This is a thing that goes in a circle over and over again for the past 70 years in American politics, which is which is these guys' version of free speech is to hate minorities, pretty much. When it comes to the real purpose of free speech, which is criticizing the most powerful, not too interested in that. Not too interested. Good evening, Adam. No! I'm going to Tucker Carl. Indoor voice, Tuck. God damn you. Indoor voice talk, you little son of a bitch, you. Pendejo. Toilets. Nelson, tonight, here's a thought experiment for you. If you wanted to yeah, turn great. a free country into a dictatorship, not that anyone would want to do that, but let's say you did want to do that, <laughs> that how voice? would you do it? What's the first freedom you would curtail? Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, it turns out the founders of this country thought very deeply about that question. They were making a new country, and they wanted to avoid dictatorship. Yeah. And they concluded that it wasn't even close. The freedom that matters is the freedom to speak your mind, the freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. That's the most basic and essential of all the wow. freedoms. And that's why it's enshrined in the very first amendment to the Bill of Rights. The most important thing that the Founding Fathers put in that document, 
the Constitution was our right to be sniffing. It's not opposable thumbs that separate us from the animals. <laughs> it's not. It's words. Oh. We can speak. Okay. Take away our ability to choose our own words, and we are no longer fully human. We are <laughs> what are we then? You're terrible. <laughs> okay. Subjects with oh. chattel. Oh, okay. Authoritarians understand this above all. That's why they hate freedom of speech. Tuck definitely nailed this one. I mean, this is, this is why he gets paid the big bucks. Tuck nailed this one. F this is the description of this video. Fox News Tuck Carl Stone, Tuck Carl Tone, explains why freedom of speech is essential in society and re reacts to the hysteria surrounding Elon Musk's Twitter bid. <laughs> so this was Tucker Carl Stone's prediction that people are losing it. People are getting so upset about Elon Musk buying Twitter because they're authoritarian. And we need to solve authoritarianism by having one guy in charge of the entire thing with complete banning power and whatever he says goes. That's how we solve authoritarianism. Hi, I'm Tucker Carlton. I used to wear a bow tie on TV. And that's why he's trying to buy Twitter. Not because he needs another company. Uh -huh. No. And Elon Musk purchasing Twitter is more than just a potential change to the media landscape. Oh. It is a true existential threat to the hegemony of the people currently in charge. Oh, Allowing wow. freedom of speech means the possibility of a revolution from below against the forces destroying this country and the West. <laughs> destroying the West. Yeah, that's great, Tuck. Yeah, we need to challenge the elites. We need to challenge the people on top by putting the richest guy in the world uh, on paper in charge. Yeah, that's going to really challenge the elite. Uh, oh, unless you criticize that he hung out with Jeffrey Epstein, or unless you talk about unions, or unless you criticize uh, Tesla. <laughs> I'm Tucker Carlson. Talk to you later. Bye. I gotta go. Oh. If we can't be on Twitter, we as conservatives need some place. Conservatives need some place. Conservatives need to be able to at least notify ourselves of what's happening and workshop our ideas. Twitter was always something different, though. Okay. When I started on Twitter. I had no followers, obviously, when you start. You, I, start, I start, first created my Twitter account in 2011. Right. Now, I'm not going to try to, let's say, play into this too much, but I was probably one of the few pioneers oh, showing off. of conservative Twitter. Would that oh, be fair, good, Connor? Good for you. In our heyday, we were getting 120,000-plus retweets a day. Wow. And one of the reasons was Twitter wow. was kind of the open, wild west of speech. And it was fun because you would tweet something like there are only two genders. And not only would you receive positive, but every journalist and activist <laughs> could come after you and quote tweet. And it was like this. Yeah, yeah there we go. Chuck also t tackling the big issues, really speaking truth to power. You know, awesome, Chuck. Hell yeah. Take a doo doo pie. He's really doing this. <laughs> the most important th reason for free speech is not to speak truth to power. What it's about is that I could say anti-Semitic things. I, 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 I could literally say anti-Semitic shit. Oh, Charlie Kirk's the best because he really went hard on this. He was like, Elon Musk is on our team. You know, he went on like national TV on Tucker Carlson. He's like, he's like, Elon Musk is on our team. He's going to change everything. And now conservatives can, you know, uh, harass Elliot Page as much as they want, which is the true definition of freedom. He hasn't, it's weird, he hasn't been talking about this too much anymore. It's still, he just totally dropped it. He's like, I'm going to go back to whatever, yelling at college kids for no reason. Well, guys, before we go, I was going to play more of the new Tim Pool song. What's his band's name? His band's name is Tim Cast. Um, I was going to play more, but honestly, my because my ears are so used to, you know, the manufactured, the common music that... It's, it's so just bold and daring, and it's such a new sound that my ears can't handle it. So I'm not going to listen to it. But uh, I'm glad you watched this video. Thank you so much for that. And let's not, let's not, I don't want to know. Nope, 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 nope. There's a calendar right over there. No, I'm not going to even look at it because we don't accept it. We don't want it. Monday, it's, a, it's, it's over. You're canceled. Monday, consider yourself canceled, we say to it, and it can kiss our ass. And frankly, what can you do with Mondays? Wipe your ass with them. Oh. But on the bright side, it is just for one day. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon. 
and bye bye. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See right there. There you go. Click it and that. Yep. <laughs> When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday patron only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly Book Oblega show where we talk about important books, the questions and comments th th thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap, and the weekly behind the scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people that make the show possible, okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's okay. No, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. No, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay? Okay? Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck. Come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.